Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today's unboxing is the Hotel Chocolat Inventing Room box. This is for May 2021. So I'm gonna unbox it with you today. I'm gonna to tell you a little bit more about this subscription, and then I'm gonna do a bit of a taste test and have a bit of a taste of the things in the box so I can kind of give you my thoughts. So if you're not familiar with the Hotel Chocolat Inventing Room, it's basically something the brand Hotel Chocolat have brought out. So obviously, as the name would suggest, they make chocolate. It tends to be quite good quality, high-end type chocolate. It's delicious. The Inventing Room is a subscription that they brought out, I think it was around about October last year. I got it from the first box, that's when I started ordering it. So you can go back and watch previous videos if you want to see what we've had in previous months. I pay for it myself. The subscription was £30 a month, but they've now reduced it to £25 a month, and that includes delivery. And what's a bit special about this subscription is that everything in the box is exclusive to the box. You can't just go and buy them in the shop because they don't exist yet. So the idea is that you get to test new chocolate and new chocolate products and new Hotel Chocolat products before they go to the store. So what happens is you get the items through the post every month. You then get to vote on what you think of each chocolate, whether you like it, dislike it, whether you kind of want to suggest any improvements, things of that nature. And then the ones that are really popular will potentially go into the store either as a limited edition or even a part of the core range if it's popular. So there's a bit of influence in things there, but the most exciting bit is you're getting to try things that you wouldn't otherwise get the option to try. It's not really a subscription for anyone who only likes the chocolate plain because you get no control over what's inside. It may be milk, white, dark, caramel chocolate, all different kinds. So you have to be kind of open to trying anything or at least live with someone who will eat the bits that you don't want or, you know, give them to a friend or family member or whatever. Um, there is also the option to go to an online group once a month and they run two of those now so you've got a pretty good chance of getting on one. So when you are signed up you get to go into your online account and you can book one of the sessions. The sessions last for about an hour, they're run by Hotel Chocolat and usually there's a few of the people that work in the inventing room and if you've seen the program, the Hotel Chocolat TV program, it's those same people. Um, they usually are part of the conversation and obviously everyone else is just like members of the box. So you can have a bit of a chat about what you think of the different chocolates and find out some little kind of sneaky bits from behind the scenes at Hotel Chocolat sometimes as well. So it's quite an exciting subscription. I look forward to receiving it every month. I eat a lot of chocolate and I love Hotel Chocolat chocolate. So it's perfect. I love it. So without further ado, I'm going to open it and we'll show you everything inside. So it says your May 2021 box. Welcome to the inventing room. It's May we, and we have another great lineup for you to taste, score and enjoy and share your feelings about. We always welcome your comments so much that we've added new free text fields to our online survey so you can give even more feedback. And then it starts to tell you some of the items in here. It also tells you how to prepare cold drinking chocolate. I think as we're going towards summer, I think they're gonna be launching some like cold chocolate drinks as opposed to hot chocolate drinks. And there's a way to either make them with their Velvetizer, and I'll put a card here if you wanna learn more about what the Velvetizer is, or you can do it without a Velvetizer if you don't have one. And they seem to be including more and more drinks that are intended to be drank cold, like I said, I think because we're heading towards summer. So we had in the April box a chocolate that was meant to be drank, I, well, it said hot or cold, and it was a coconut drink. I thought it tasted better hot, but they did suggest you drank it cold. I tried it both ways. I think it was better hot, but then that's perhaps just my preference. So on the back, it's got the selection, and it also tells you some of the items you'll find in next month's box. So we'll get to that as we go along. There is also a list of items with ingredients and things on, because that's the other thing. The items in the box tend to be in just plain brown packaging with just a label stuck on the front. So all the details you might need about things like ingredients, calories, sugar content, whatever it might be, they keep that on a separate form just to let you know. So as is pretty standard with the box, we always get a filled selection. So this is just like a box of individual chocolates that are generally filled, as they say. So the first chocolate, and you get two of these. This is the Key Lime Pie Ganache. Key Lime Pie brought Taro so much joy during the long months of lockdown, and she wanted to share it with you in a chocolate. And it says Zingy Pud.
Mm, you definitely get the zing of the key lime pie. And they're almost like little meringue pieces on top. Mm, definitely taste of key lime pie. For me, what's missing is that kind of crunch that you get from like the biscuit base. Maybe even just like a little bit of biscuit in there would have worked perfectly in my mind. Mm, tasty though. Then we've got the Columbia Milk Fruit and Nuts. A bite-sized slab made with rare single origin chocolate filled with finest South African yellow raisins and Piedmont hazelnuts. Bite-sized treat. So with it being the single origin chocolate, even though it's milk, it tastes more like a dark almost. Not my favourite. I mean, I like nuts and that's another thing to mention about the box. If you do have any kind of allergies like nuts or anything, I don't think there's any way they can make this sort of nut friendly. Check with them by all means, but I think it would potentially prevent you if you had a serious allergy to anything because there's so many different things in here and nuts tends to feature quite a lot. Um, it says it's got these finest South African yellow raisins and they're not super sweet like a standard raisin that we'd be used to. So it doesn't give you that sort of sweetness. It just gives you more of a bitterness, I'd say. Not my favorite. Ooh, then we've got a macaroon. We've been seeing a lot of these in the boxes. So this is a coconut macaroon. Here's the latest from the long list of macaroon flavour suggestions you've shared with us. A coconut filling paired with 40% chocolate discs. Dreamy delight and I love coconut. You can smell the coconut. I do love coconut. So that's like a nice smooth coconut taste as opposed to having like a chocolate that's got shredded coconut. This is just like a smooth coconut paste. Interesting. Very, very creamy. I don't think you could have too much. I think they'd be quite sickly. Although I do tend to find that with the macaroons anyway. And like I said, you tend to get two of each of those chocolates I have shown you. But then for this one, instead of giving us two the same, they've given us two to compare. So these are the Chili Praline Current and the Chili Praline Version 2. Our current Chili Praline recipe has a delicious gentle tingle of habanero chili but is it hot enough for chili lovers here's a taste off our current version versus a boosted recipe so i think this is the current and i think this is the boosted one so i'm going to start off with the current one so it's just like a smooth ganache almost like a paste inside so you definitely get the chili heat but it's nothing too crazy and then we'll go for the more intense version that green's just come down off the top that's definitely got a little bit more of a kick to it, but I'm not sure either of them are what I would reach for. I don't, I don't know. I don't mind the heat in chocolate. It's just not something I would choose for myself. Although I think if I was choosing, I probably would go for the version two because if you're getting something that is chilly, it might as well be chilly, you know, rather than just being mild chilly. Then we've got pack B. And these are nut milk hazelnuts and they're like a big resealable bag. So here is what they look like and it says this pairing may seem simple but simplicity often brings the best results. Here are wonderfully creamy Piedmont hazelnuts panned in the chocolate of the moment, nut milk. Nut milk is their vegan chocolate I believe. So they're really simple. The kind of standard nut milk chocolate because it hasn't got a really powerful taste to it and it's quite a subtle kind of chocolate you actually just really get the taste of the hazelnuts which i really like they're a really nice chocolate i'll tell you what they remind me of does anyone remember cabbage used to make a little bag and they used to have nuts in literally look just like the ones i've just shown you so it was like a nut covered in chocolate and then i think they had the raisins covered in chocolate and it was like fruit and nut but in little balls I used to love those that's what they remind me of but they're very good Next up, we've got the drinking chocolates again. So these are strawberry and cream drinking chocolates, which definitely kind of lend themselves more to spring, summer than winter. So it says strawberries and cream means summer is coming. David recommends enjoying this drinking chocolate chilled while basking in the sun. Sunshine, not guaranteed. So they're two single serve sachets. I may even try one of them hot just to see. I mean, strawberries and cream definitely sounds more like it should be drank cold, but we shall see. 
Then we've got two of the pillow biscuits. These are exciting because these are not only a brand new flavour, which is peanut, which is one of my favourite flavours, but they actually have a different base. So I don't know if you've ever tried a pillow biscuit from Hotel Chocolat, but the base was really, really hard. It didn't really taste of anything either. And the reason for that was they wanted something to balance out that chocolate. So you just got the real taste of chocolate instead of it just being a biscuit. But I think they went so plain on the biscuit that it just didn't add anything to it. So they've been talking about playing around using different biscuits and it sounds like we'll be the first to kind of try the new biscuit. So it says, as an inventing room member, you're getting the first bite of our latest biscuit base with an improved, less brittle texture. This one has a brand new recipe, salted peanut in a caramel shell with added extra cacao. Ooh, the biscuit looks very different. It was like a white biscuit before, and now it almost looks like a bourbon type biscuit. And this is what it looks like at the top. Hmm. Oh, wow. They are so good. If you like salted caramel and you like peanut, oh my God, they're good. This is the downside to this box. If you discover things you really like, you either have to wait a long time for them eventually to be made and put into stores or they never come to stores and it's literally the only chance you've had to actually have them. So I will warn you about that. And then finally, it sounds like there's been a little bit of a mishap with this box. So the last item in the box should have been the Ecuador 52% milk puddles. Milk chocolate with a high cacao percentage is often compared to fine wine for its exciting flavour notes. Yodi has been busy creating this easy to eat, utterly delicious 52% milk. And that's what it would have looked like. But I noticed this little piece of paper in here and it says sorry but we've had a muddle with our puddles dear inventing room member we've had a bit of a problem while making our ecuadorian 52 percent milk puddles for this month's box we broke our melting tank and it said that they've quickly realized what happened but unfortunately they won't be able to make it in time to get it in the box instead we've made a late substitution to keep you going until your june box arrives our salted caramel chocolate puddles you won't need to score these these are one of my favourite products that Hotel Chocolat does. So they are just like the chocolate puddles, which are basically like a big chocolate bomb. These, in my opinion, are the best puddles they do. So you get the salted caramel taste and then you just get the salt at the end. It just comes through. They're just amazing. They are so Moorish though. Once you open them, you will not want to stop eating them. They usually retail at £6. Just say on the front, caramel chocolate with a pinch of sea salt. They are spectacular sometimes they sell out actually in the store i've been in before to pick some up and they've not got any they do another version as well it's just caramel it's nowhere near as good these are where it's at i love these so i'm quite happy to not have the other chocolate ones much as i would like to have tried them because they are my favorite i love them so yeah pretty happy with that so let's see what we've got in store in the june box so it says in next month's box look out for a citrus uzu ganache inspired by japanese cuisine mm -hmm. plus a pistachio chocolate spread Ooh, we've had chocolate spreads before they're usually very good will our chili and cinnamon drinking chocolate bring out your inner mayan warrior mm. i have got the chili hot chocolate and that is actually quite nice as a like bit of something different so it is pretty good so yeah so i hope you've enjoyed watching my unboxing i'll link at the end some of my previous hotel chocolat inventory room unboxings if you want to see what came in previous month boxes if you're a member they now allow you to actually purchase some of the previous month's inventory room boxes while stocks last usually for about 17.50 and you can access that by going into your online club when you're a member but that's great if you kind of want to pick up a box you've missed or you want another of the same box i'm tempted but i've got so much chocolate as well as this to eat that yeah i was tempted though because i particularly adored last month's box i'm pretty happy with this month's box actually um there's nothing in here i don't like Obviously, I like some more than others, but there's none that I'm like, oh, it's horrible. To be fair, it's extremely rare with these boxes that I've ever found something I actively dislike. It has happened, but it's rare. Generally, I like it. I can eat most chocolate, so it works for me. Let me know in the comments if you're signed up to this subscription or if it's something that you're interested in or you're going to try. I have no affiliation or anything with them. I just love unboxing it every month. So... 
thank you so much for watching I would love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. And I will see you next month to unbox the jukebox, I guess. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.